Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Allie and I am a domestic wannabe and right now I am doing the Fly Lady zone cleaning from zone 1 to zone 5 and documenting my journey along the way. I have been working out every morning at 6 a.m. I wake up, I work out and every morning I've been coming down to this light being on in the gym and I asked my husband, hey why does why do you keep leaving this light on? And it was so sweet. He said, oh, it gets so dark down here. He said, I wanted the cats to be able to see when they go to use their litter boxes at night. So he's been leaving the night light on for them. And I just thought that was so sweet. And that is why I married him. So I wanted to share that. I also, we um, bought this dehumidifier this summer. This one is from Costco. It has been working great. It just really helps, uh, take moisture out of the air we have to empty that container at least once sometimes twice a day there's just a lot of moisture down in our lower level so i emptied that out threw in a load of laundry happens to be towels which has been the story of my life this month and then i got to work with my workout now i have been combining strength training walking and jogging on the treadmill and also using the cycle uh, my workout for my workouts and i've been doing daily yoga for 10 minutes i like to get the yoga done right away in the morning just so i don't forget and i don't run out of energy but there have been some recent days that i have been doing yoga in the evening right before bed and i'm just really determined to get 300 days in the year doing yoga my big thing is i'm on a streak so that streak has really provided momentum that i just don't want to mess this up i want to keep going i want to keep doing it so i have been doing yoga for 10 minutes every day not necessarily since the day I started, but I've been doing pretty good. So I'm pretty excited to share that stuff. So this is how my mornings start. I, after my workout was done, I decided to go and get the dishwasher emptied and reloaded so that I could start the day with a shiny sink. And I tell you, that felt pretty glorious. I didn't wake up to it, but very quickly, I was able to get it done. I really need to remind myself every night when I am trying to talk myself out of shining that sink and just getting the dishes done, that it is so worth it. I had a request to make little uh, turkey roll-ups. So I made some turkey roll-ups with some uh, vegetable cream cheese. They turned out really tasty, very quick to make. And then I just did some hummus and vegetables and some cherries to go along with it. I'm showing you all this because again, the zones need to be incorporated into all the other habits that we do every single day. And I wanted to show you guys, uh, give you a full example of how my days really go. My workout and making, making a lunch or putting together lunch and getting it packed for um, my husband to take to work. And then I usually try to do it for myself as well to throw in the fridge just so it's ready when I have lunch. Um, that's a big part of my mornings. And since we've started doing that, I've never packed lunches in my life until this year. But I tell you, it has made a huge difference in our eating out budget. It's just, it's really made a huge difference. And we're working towards quite a few goals as a family. And being able to have packed lunches is a is a big thing helping us work towards those goals. So I'm really happy that we're doing that. As soon as I finished making lunch, I decided I'm getting zones taken care of first thing this morning before I even shower. And the area that I decided needed to be tackled was this corner cabinet. It needed a quick declutter. It seems like things just aren't getting put back the way they originally fit. So I figured that probably means we need to reevaluate what we all have in here and what we're keeping. So I did just move a few things to different areas of the kitchen, but I got rid of two thermoses that I personally don't like. I'm not sure why I held on to them. My husband has used them once in the last couple months, but I never really liked them. Uh, I think I just held on to them because they were kind of pricey and they're pretty. It was time to get rid of them. So I officially decluttered them. And with just getting rid of two things, I noticed a nice difference in that corner cabinet and just, just also rearranging things. But now it's much more usable. The mission that day was to clean out the silverware drawer 
and to kind of vacuum out everything. I recently did that. So I just decided to kind of reorganize, just kind of tidy it up and put things back the way they're supposed to be. And also take care of my miscellaneous drawer, my, my tools drawer. I didn't get rid of anything in here. Again, I, I recently decluttered this, but I did. it did need a good sprucing, good rearranging. And it's kind of nice to see what I all have. A few things were put in here that don't go in here. They go in a different drawer. And in that other drawer, a few things were in there that were supposed to go in this drawer. So I just moved some things around. I'm sure I'll declutter that again later this year. And the last thing I decided to do with my 15 minutes, because I still have time on the clock, was to sharpen my sharp knives. I have been putting this off. I, I don't even know why, but I've been putting it off. And I used to do this a lot more frequently because uh, one time my uncle told me, always have a sharp knife. You'll never regret it. Um, you'll only regret it if you let your knives go dull. And... I, and I don't know if those were his exact words, but I just remember him talking to me about sharpening knives when I was younger. So I grabbed my knife sharpener and I sharpened all of my good knives, got them all done, ran them underwater to make sure any you know metal shards were rinsed off, dried them off, and I put them back. And I did that all in the 15 minutes that was for in zone two in the kitchen. A task I've been putting off and I got it done. And that corner cabinet, everything is, the all three turntables are working so smoothly. Then I did take a shower, get dressed to shoes, and I ended up back in the laundry room to do our one load a day for the day. And of course, I folded towels, I switched loads, and then I just threw in these two blankets that have been sitting there forever. Decided is all they have to do is get put in the dryer before the end of the night, and there'll be one extra load is done. I don't have to fold them because they're just two blankets. And I had to spend my evening when my husband got home. I had to go down and do some work. I've been working on my website and just doing some editing and SEO stuff. And I needed a little quiet time for us. So my husband came home. He took care of dinner. He took care of just playing and, you know, getting the night, bedded, bedtime routine, everything ready. And I worked on that SEO for our website until it was all complete. And I was able to take a huge, huge job off of my to-do list. And that was how I ended my day. Thank you so much for watching. By day six, I'm still not seeing huge strides forward, but I can see where this gets easier and easier every month you do it. I am going to push on and keep doing my zone cleaning, zone one through zone five. And I hope you subscribe and join me along the way.